Welcome back to March West Junction TMD. And today, in this February update, we're going to have a look at my Class 68s that I've got in my fleet. As you can see, we've got uh, three at March West Junction. And uh, also, we'll be looking at uh, a little line side hut that I've decided to uh, kit bash. So, hopefully, you'll enjoy. Thank you for watching. Okay, the first loco in the fleet that I purchased was 68003, which is astute, which is in the uh, large compass livery. As you can see, I've got it coupled up to a rake of the Acroscale nuclear waste uh, container wagons. And uh, for the first batch that come out, uh, there was a few issues with the livery on this, but uh, this is not the one that was uh, affected by that and it, the detail is absolutely fantastic moving on to the second purchase I bought this from the Woolley show when it was on last uh, it was uh, on sale and this is 68026 in the revised direct rail services I think the reason this has got a slightly different livery is for when they paint them up for uh, running with other companies so it's just got the plain blue with uh, the smaller logo. And then finally, which everyone's raving on about at the moment, is the Transpennine livery. The one I've got is 68023, which is Achilles. Really good livery, really nicely applied. I'm not gonna go through all the livery and all the detail because there's enough people done reviews on these over the last week, so I don't wanna bore people. But I've coupled these up to the Backman Limited Edition Mark IIs and uh, it's got the Limited Edition Nuclear Flask but I know this isn't correct because it's supposed to be the, the larger wagons which are coming out soon but uh, for what I've got now this is all I can couple up with them at the moment so that's my fleet and it's coming on quite well I do really like the Locos, they're very good runners and the detail is exceptional and I really recommend them on the workbench today I've got uh, a railway modeler exclusive kit that's from the uh, ratio range these were free with the magazine about a year ago and I was quite fortunate because some of my colleagues that are into model railways and trains uh, they give me their kits so I ended up with three of these and uh, what I decided to do was do one as is uh, and put it on the layout in my parcel yard and then I decided to uh, kit bash the other one uh, which I'll show you now So uh, here it is on the layout, uh, as you can see, it's just a Delerit line side hut. Uh, I used some ratio corrugated for the door. Uh, for the window I boarded that up with some old coffee stirrers from a well known uh, fast food chain. And uh, the roof, I decided to cut some of the roof out and put some uh, little pieces of wood going across to give the impression that some of the tiles are missing. Uh, as you can see I've tried to like blend it into the scenery have some uh, bushes creeping up on the side wall 
which uh, I got that idea from uh, Graham from Lakeside. He told me how to do it uh, by just sprinkling a bit of scatter on after you've put some glue laying where you want it. And then uh, I just sort of buried it onto the layout with uh, bushes all around. Use a selection of weathering powders as well to try and uh, give it the impression of age. As you can see. And it fits in quite nice. And uh, this is the other one that I made. Again, it's just in its original condition as you get it from uh, out the packaging. Weathered again. And uh, I've used it as if it was an old uh, coaling office that was in the station. But now it's in the uh, postal depot. And they are quite nice models as well, fitting really well with uh, most layouts. Just a little tip, uh, if you ever get out and about, uh, I purchased this from uh, a garden centre and uh, it's some decorative moss. It's called My Village. Now what it was used for over the Christmas period, they were selling these to go with the Christmas decorations. So you could put it on your, uh, around your Christmas tree, like a little village. And uh, after Christmas, uh, I mean, I bought this last, not about two weeks ago, and it was uh, 99p in the sale, uh, reduced from 299. So if you're after some cheap bushes, it might be worth uh, just keeping an eye out in your garden center, what they've got on the shelves. And these are the bushes placed on the layers. As you can see, I've blended them in with some of my uh, Jarvis bushes and Will's bushes that you can uh, your standard buy for, from your model shop. But to be fair, I, I think they're blending quite well. For, uh, for 99p, and you get quite a bit in the packaging. So it's worth uh, checking them out. Some extra detail I've added to the uh, depot area. As you can see, I've got a little knock figure inside there with a uh, pedestal driller doing a little bit of work. Uh, these were from the advent calendar that knock did uh, for 2020. I've got a few more of them on the layout. Uh, there's three of them here pushing the bogey underneath the uh, carriage and uh, the one guy calling it on. And then I've put another guy here that's at the little point lever, ready to change it for when the uh, loco moves forward. Other details I've added is uh, these little battery boxes that are from Backman. There's uh, the Class 45 uh, engine there, power unit. And uh, that's from Rusty Rails, 3D printed. And they're about £9.50, they're really good really good detail uh, there's a wheelie bin there that I've added and as you can see inside there's a bit more detail being added to the uh, depot down the centre they're all from Backman with the uh, bundy fluid carrier I've also filtered the light in the engine shed because people pointed out how bright it was so I've put like a little filtration screen over the top of the lights because they're fitted to a USB lead it's a bit awkward to put uh, a resistor to them so uh, I decided to put a filter in the roof just to tone the light down a little bit. So there's not much changed on the layout. Uh, just a few little details around the engine shed. And of course these are my class 68s which I was showing you earlier. Well I hope you've enjoyed this video. And as usual if you have please hit the like button and share. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and uh, click the bell icon so you'll be updated with all the new videos I've got coming out. So again, thanks again for uh, watching and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.